right, so now I'm going to show you how to walk through the programming on the display. So if we take a look at the main screen, when you first power uh, the system up, you're going to come to this screen here. It's going to have the number one for manual, number two for batch, number three for setup, number four for grand total. So I'll walk us through each menu, and then I'll show you what you're primarily going to do uh, to, to start a batch. So if I were to press the number one, it would take me into manual mode. So what this does for me is this allows me to manually open or close that valve in case you wanted or needed to flow bleach without being in the batch scenario where the PLC tells the valve when to open or close. So right now my valve is in its closed position. I can tell that because we're green and the indicator line is going perpendicular to my pipe. So if I were to hit one, it will open this valve. So I hit the number one, the LED turns white while the valve is opening. My position indicator is now in line with my pipe. The LED changes to red. The valve is now open. So if I had this installed in a pipe with my paddle wheel installed in line, I could now flow through and here at the bottom, it will show me the total amount that I flowed. We have the option for two different units. We can do our units in jugs, which is your two and a half gallon pool store jugs, or we can do units in gallons. So if I were to hit F1, that would change me from jugs to gallons. So you can simply toggle back and forth depending upon what units you want your readout to be in. So I'll put it back to jugs. Once you flowed, however much flow you needed, this value will change and you simply hit F2 to reset. That's it for my manual screen. So I'll go ahead and hit the number two button. We'll close our valve back. Once again, position indicator goes to perpendicular to my pipe. LED goes green. I now know that my valve is closed. So to get out of this screen, I simply hit the escape button. Now I'm back to my main screen. From here, I'm gonna hit number two. We're gonna go into batch. So in the batch mode, we start with batch size. This is where you type in whatever value you want. Right now we are in jugs. So this is how many jugs do I wanna fill. Let's go ahead and type in the number four. So we hit enter first, then the number four, then we hit enter again. And now if I were to hit F2 and start, it's going to open that valve up and the valve is going to stay open until we flow four jugs worth of bleach or 10 gallons worth of bleach. If I were to hit my F1 for units, I could change from jugs to gallons. So if I kept typed in at four, I would flow four gallons. If I wanted to fill four jugs, I simply type in 10. Now I'm gonna flow 10 gallons. So once again, at this point, if I were to hit F2 to start the batch, it's gonna open my valve. Once that valve is open, we are now flowing bleach. That valve is going to flow until we hit 70% of our 10 gallon batch size. And from there, it's going to actuate this valve to a middle position. And then once we get to 10 gallons, we're going to entirely close that valve. So that's all you would have to do to run a batch. So a customer comes in, tells you how many gallons they want to flow, you program in that batch size, you hit F2 to start, and then you start to fill their jugs. Now in this case, we're not actually flowing any bleach by here, so we need to cancel this batch. If I hit the I button for reset, that will automatically cancel the batch. And when I do that, it's gonna close my valve back up. So now that entire batch has been canceled. So if you ever got midway through a batch size or a customer told you the wrong amount of, of bleach to flow, you could always cancel out the batch size. Now you're back in, uh, in the screen where you would then say the batch size for your next customer. So if I hit escape from here, once again, I'm back on the main screen. If I hit the number three for setup, it asked me for a password. So I hit enter and then the password, just like all of our bleach flow meter systems, is one, one, one. Hit enter, 
And this is where I actually program my values. So K factor, that's how we, uh, we calibrate one of these systems. We'll talk about that in a few minutes. And then I have a small, a medium or a middle, and a large batch size. The percentage that you see here is changeable, but these values are where, at what percentage of batch size do we go to middle position? And these are the recommended values that we have for different batch sizes. So our small batch is zero to three jugs. Our middle batch is four to nine jugs, and our large batch is 10 or more jugs. So that's the, uh, the difference in, in at what point we go to the middle position. So again, you can come in here. Um, I hit the right arrow to scroll between my different values. If I wanna make a change to something, I hit enter, type in my new value, hit enter again, and now you've changed that parameter. So once again, if I hit the escape to come back, the last menu is number four for grand total. And this simply is a non-resettable total that shows you how many gallons you have flowed through that flow meter on this display. So that's it for the setup of the meter. Now I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do a calibration.